Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, guys. We're going to do a dream catcher today. Uh, this dream catcher is going to be approximately six inches. So it's about six inches long. You're going to need a fairly long rock to be able to do everything that I'm doing on this today. So there's going to be some dangling feathers, some beads and stuff like that. Of course, I'm going to use gold because it wouldn't be Rachel's Rocks without it. <laughs> you guys know that. Welcome back. So I started off using a compass. You can find like a lid or something circular around your house to trace around it with a pencil and then use gold or whatever color you choose to do your dream catcher in um, to outline everything. So I'm just kind of keeping it as circular as possible by judging by eye after using the compass on my stone. This stone is very dark so you cannot see the pencil very well. Also, it's gonna be even darker once I seal it with resin. So I gotta use some brighter colors and uh, this gold will stand out really nice once it's been resined as well. You guys know how I feel about resin. Just make sure when you're using resin that you're using a mask, that you're very, very careful. Um, I'm using a non-toxic brand, which is completely 100% non-toxic once it's completely cured. As long as you don't add anything to it, like tints, colors, stuff like that, it takes a lot longer to cure and it might make it toxic depending on what you're putting in it. So uh, you guys can see I did a smaller circle in the center. So try and keep your center dot. That way you can do as many circles as you want and they will all fit inside of each other <laughs> or outside of each other. Um, I put a couple of dots in some places. Those are gonna be beads eventually and the feathers are going to hang from those areas. And we'll go back to that a little bit later. So you couldn't see my center dot because it was pencil. So I put a gold dot there so you could see it. Now I'm dotting the same way I usually do with any of my circular stones. Um, I start at the top, the bottom, the left, the right, and then I go in between those. So I've done that with this, and now I'm kind of using those dots as a guide. You can't see it very well because I'm useless. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I just have a really bad habit of taking you guys out of frame. Um, anyway, I've done like little flower petals, I guess. I've used those dots to guide my way to the center, and then I put... Uh, a little dot again a bigger dot I guess you could say where those little dots used to be those were just guides at first but I'm making them bigger now so this is the center of our beautiful dream catcher <laughs> now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just kind of following those dots right down to the bigger circle and I'm lining those ones up and now I'm going in between those ones same way just so they're approximately even apart. Almost nothing is perfect in my world and I don't want it to be. So I put little dots above in the center of those bigger dots just as a guide. And then I'm doing like a little rainbow, a little gold rainbow, a little swoosh. <laughs> I have really strange terminologies. I don't know what to call them. I just do the art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I do the art. I don't know the technology, the technological terms, um, the school terms, you know, I don't know those. So yeah, that's just the way it goes. If you've been here long enough, you understand my terms. <laughs> now I'm doing a pointy triangle. And you can see that in between two of those little rainbows, those little gold rainbows, we keep two in the middle of our triangle. So at the bottom of our triangle, you wanna make sure. And then the center of those rainbows are gonna be attached as well to string or gold string. Um, so I'm also putting a littler triangle coming from those bumps. You'll see those a little bit better after because I'm going to put little dots where those are as well, as you can see. This does show up a lot better once I've resined it. So if it just kind of like the contrast of the back, but the background of the stone and this dream catcher is just kind of 
like making your eyes go funky, you'll understand it once it's resined because this painting is going to pop right off the rock um, and the background is going to be a lot darker and uh, it'll just kind of look a lot better at that point. So it might be messing with your eye bulbs um, at the moment, but it won't afterwards, don't worry. And depending on what shade and color of stone you're using, um, it might look totally different. And you get to do whatever you want in the center. You can create whatever kind of uh, dream catcher design in the center. I'm gonna be doing a couple of like gemstones or, or glass beads. Uh, they're going to look glass, and then the other ones are just going to be simple dots. Um, but I'm doing feathers right now. You can see, you can't really see them very well, but I'm just using my fine lining brush and feathering out a couple of strands. Not, I'm not going overboard with it, um, and you can't really see that on the stone. So I'm really sorry for that, guys. I, I'm not trying to leave you out of the loop. Um, it's just kind of not hard, not easy to see up against the background of the stone, but hopefully you'll understand once we get partially through this. <laughs> um, so now I did mention that I was gonna be making some glass beads and those glass beads are going to be painted white first. Um, so I'm doing white on the bottom here, a couple of glass beads, one on either side of the center one. There's gonna be one in the center of the dream catcher as well and one at the top of the green ca dream catcher, green catcher. Uh, there won't be any green in this today. There will be purple, uh, aqua, yellow, red, um, and a little bit of like chrome powder that's kind of purplish blue, um, but I like purple. So my three center glass beads are going to be, or sorry, four, four center glass beads are going to be purple. So I'm putting black dots Everywhere that there is a string attached where we did all those pointy triangular things and the, the rainbow, <laughs> the rainbow humps, <laughs> the gold, the gold rainbows. There you go. Um, I'm putting a dot everywhere that those need to be seen so that you can notice them. And a bead, a little black bead that's going to be made chrome. Um, those are holding all of our strings together. And then the center is going to have some colorful beads as well as the strands that are hanging off, dangling and flowing in the wind. Uh, do you guys know what a dream catcher is? You've probably seen them before, but if you don't know what they're used for, um, I will read you the meaning that I found. Uh, purpose and meaning of the dream catcher, sometimes referred to as sacred hoops. I'm adding red. These are just gonna be red beads, guys. Then I'm gonna add yellow and aqua. Ojibwe dream catchers were traditionally used as talismans to protect sleeping people, usually children, from bad dreams and nightmares. This Native American tribe believes that night air is filled with dreams both good and bad. But this catches the bad ones. So it keeps you safe away from all that negative energy. So I can see I've got some moon yellow, I've got aqua, I've got red, and I'm just kind of putting them evenly throughout. Everybody gets a fair chance to be on the rock. Now I'm using my little blending brush and my little fine lining brush. And yes, that was my heavily painted sleeve on my, on my right arm, because I'm mostly left-handed. I do lots of stuff ambidextrous but I'm mostly left-handed and I like to wipe my paintbrush on that sleeve. <laughs> so you guys have seen me do gemstones or jewel stones or jelly flies. This is like a little portion of a jelly fly. You kind of make it look like a, a glass bead or a, a shiny little jelly bean. Uh, and you start with, uh, the. I usually start with white so that there's a nice bright background to start with. And then I pick my color. I usually have the color on the upper left and uh, top. Upper left top is where most of the color is and I keep the bottom right almost white or, or white to the very edge. 
and then it kind of looks like a gem. And you use the blending brush and you blend and blend and blend until, until it all looks good. Um, and if you need more lessons and time on making these kinds of jewels or these look like glass beads, depending on what you're, you're doing, um, I have listed in the description a couple of tutorials that will help you. So it doesn't take long, super easy. And uh, when you're done, you can make as many glass beads as your heart desires. So you can see I'm adding some more black dots. Uh, underneath those black dots are gold dots that you can't really see very well, but you'll be able to see them much better once it's sealed with resin. So this big part at the top here, this is like the top knot um, and our hanging part comes from there so that we can hang it up. Um, I've just put a giant gold dot there and now I've got like our gold string and I'm going to put another little bead that's going to be yellow right there, but I'm starting it off with gold, just a gold dot. And that's where we hang it from. I would not recommend hanging this stone if you purchase it from my Etsy shop because it is three pounds. <laughs> Do not hang it from a string. Um, so I am making sure that my glass bead here, now that I'm done blending it, uh, I've let it dry. I've realized that I didn't blend it well enough <laughs> and spoke too soon. Um, but there's our little, our little bloop bloop. I always just call them bloops, little white bloops to make it look extra, extra shiny. And I'm going to do the same thing with these little white beads here, only they're going to be aqua glass beads. Um, the center is a purple glass bead and it went out of focus, so I'm sorry for that. It's more focused on my giant fingers. Um, but I'm doing the same thing I did with the purple, uh, just doing it with aqua for these two glass beads. And the top, where the top knot is, once again, that will be purple, a purple glass bead, but I'm waiting for the gold to dry. So it's a process. <laughs> There's some drying times that need to be done because you don't want to dot, dot on top of things if they're not dry yet because it just it doesn't work out well and it makes a mess of everything. So wait till things are dry and things always end up working out much better. So I'm making sure everything is outlined. I'm going to be outlining the entire thing in black as well, which is a tedious process, but worth it. It helps it pop off the stone uh, when you're when you're done and you seal it. It separates it from the background a little bit, um, and it just looks better in in my opinion. But you don't have to if it's just like a real pain in the butt. If fine lining and stuff like that isn't your thing, don't do it. Do not stress. Just have fun. I like to outline things, <laughs> but I've had a few years of practice, so I'm gonna outline everything in black. I'm going to make sure that even the inside where all of the uh, gold string work is, that that's going to be outlined as well in, in most areas. And I'm also going to put a little bit of black uh, on the feathers just to kind of, I don't know, give them some texture, I guess, on top of that gold so that you can see them really, really well. So I'm just outlining how boring. <laughs> I want you guys to let me know what you think. I'm going to be doing another episode of What's on My Desk right before the resin reveal at the end of this tutorial. So wait for that. Uh, most of the stuff that you see is going into my shop or was in my shop or will be in my shop um, because I'm constantly putting stuff in my Etsy shop like twice, sometimes three times a week if I am able to stay up late after everyone goes to sleep and uh, work my butt off. Uh, but yeah, so keep an eye on my Etsy shop. There is a link to my Etsy shop in the description. Um, and if you're bored with seeing my same old merch in my shop, hopefully once the kids go back to school, um, we will be getting some more merch up in my, in my, uh, in my store on this channel. If you're interested in any of the stuff that I've used in uh, this video today, it will be listed in the description as well as my paint colors and brands and places you can go to purchase stuff to, to make beautiful stones. Um, there's discount codes and all sorts of stuff in there. So don't forget to click on the description and uh, find out all my secrets. So this part is super boring. 
if I sometimes go over top of the gold, I have to wait for the black to dry and I have to go back to the gold and, you know, it's tedious, but in the end, it really is worth it. And if I'm making art, I don't like to really like rush it that much. Um, but certain times it gets really tedious. You guys know this. Dotting, dotting gets tedious as well. <laughs> uh, so I'm doing the same thing with this top one. It's a purple glass bead. I love purple, so I wanted to make sure that I had a few extra purple ones in here. Um, and I'm using my little blending brush. It's just a brush that is a certain shape. It's more round, uh, and you cut it super, super short. Um, and it's perfect. It's like a, it's like a. It's like a little sponge, a little baby sponge, um, but it does what a sponge does, only it gets into those really small areas like these little glass beads. So I wasn't going to do glass beads all throughout. They're just regular shiny beads. That's it. But some of them are glass. Some of, their, some of them are super shiny, and it's all going to be super shiny once I seal it at the end. <laughs> That's my favorite part. So what do dream catchers mean to you? Have you ever seen one? Do you have one? I want to hear what you guys think of this. Let me know in the comments. Um, give me some more ideas. I have a couple of things lined up and working on them as we speak. Um, but I want more ideas. We're coming into fall. We're coming to Halloween season. Um, and some people like right now they're like what do you have for christmas because they want to start preparing before uh before we get too close to christmas it takes a while to make beautiful things doesn't it so if you have any ideas please let me know in the comments or you can uh, visit me on facebook as well best way to, to chat with me would probably be youtube because i am constantly responding to people on youtube um and it, my phone, for some reason, I always get the notifications um, for that, but I sometimes can't even see what's going on on my Facebook <laughs> because my Facebook is always messing up. Uh, so message me on the comments and, uh, and give me your ideas and we will go from there. I will put them on my list. I want to make an otter. Otters are one of my favorite favorite, favorite creatures of all. Um, and I've always wanted to paint one. And someone asked me a little while ago if I would be willing to do a dotted otter. And so that's one thing that I'm going to be working on very, very soon for you guys. Um, so I'm very carefully, it looks like I'm going like very, very fast, but I'm actually not. I've sped this up. Um, I'm kind of outlining everything still, still outlining my little beads. Um, it's a real pain in the butt. And unless you are smart about it, not like me, you would start off with doing giant black beads and then doing gold and then doing the color. But that takes some drying time. Um, but that way you don't have to outline it, right? If you've already got a black circle there, you make a smaller gold dot and then a smaller colored dot. They all fit in there and you see it the way you see it now, except for you didn't have to outline it. I hope I'm making sense. This mind of mine, <laughs> I sometimes don't trust it. Um, but I hope that I'm making some sense to you guys or do it the way I did it. It just takes a little bit longer and it's a little bit more difficult to maneuver that fine lining brush, but it's worth it if you outline those beads in whichever way you manage to do it. So if I turn it towards the light, you can see the feathers <laughs> um, and you will be able to see them a lot better. Like I said, once it's sealed with resin and everything is going to just go surprise, we're here. You might not have seen me before, but here I am, Miss America. <laughs> so it is almost time, guys. I'm going to actually add a couple of Swarovski crystals. I'm just going to use some Mod Podge because I'm going to resin right over top of them. Um, they will look kind of like little glass beads, just a, you know, a little different. Um, I'm using chrome powder on my little black dots. You don't have to do that. Uh, basically, I put UV gel top coat for nails uh, that you need a UV light for. You guys have seen me use this stuff before. 
Um, I put it on those little black dots and then what I do is I just rub on some bluish purplish chrome powder and it makes them shiny and uh, chromey looking up close um, but you can't really see it from here. They still look black. <laughs> um, so I'm just giving a quick outline to my my part that hangs because you can only see gold. I wanted to outline that as well with black. Um, make sure everything is done. Now I've added Swarovski crystals to just a couple of little areas and I'll, I'll point those areas out to you in a little bit. There's uh, only a couple of them. I didn't want to put too many. But first, what's on my desk? <laughs> uh, this is a little Zentangle dragonfly that I'm working on. Clearly, I have lots to do still. Um, if you have not been here before, welcome to Rachel's Rocks. I love you. And we have a lot of fun here. And we're very creative and sparkly and gold. <laughs> Here's a little mandala stone or mandala. I'm sorry. A little chrome paw print for a puppy with some dotted stuff in there too. Um, what is this? Have I told you guys lately that I love you? You guys are loved. Trust me. I keep coming back no matter how hard it is because I can't wait to share with you guys again. I got some hope and some jewel stones. You guys have seen me do these before. If you haven't, check out my YouTube channel video list because there's over 200 tutorials and most of this stuff I have shown you how to do all on your own. So it's time. Look at that. Look at how dark this stone went. Um, I mod podged or glued down a couple of crystals in some spots, mostly down by the feathers there. Uh, you can see there's a one above the purple glass bead and uh, a couple below it. And yeah, I just put a couple in there. It, it just changes things up a little, but you don't have to do that. I've resined over them, so they're never coming off. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you soon.